March is Kidney Cancer Awareness Month 2023. Hi, my name is Dr. Jennifer Lenahan. I am a robotic kidney cancer surgeon. I take care of complex kidney cancers and renal masses and resect them from the kidney using a robot that's made by Intuitive Surgical. So I want to talk a little bit about kidney cancer today. So overall, there's about 79,000 new cases a year. Men have a lifetime risk of about 2% and women have a lifetime risk of about 1%. Now, most of the kidney cancers that I see actually come to me because somebody was in the ER with back pain or had some other issue. They got a CAT scan and then they found this tumor in the kidney. Kidney cancer actually oftentimes in the very beginning, especially when they're small, they won't have any symptoms. No blood in the urine, patients may not even know that they have it. So we find these incidental tumors, which are usually small, and oftentimes if they're less than two centimeters, there's about a 70% chance that they're actually a cancer and a 30% chance that they may be a benign lesion. We also find tumors that are larger, and for kidney cancer, the most important thing is the size. The size of the tumor that's in the kidney. The bigger the tumor, the higher the risk that you might have cancer outside the kidney. So most cancers, if they're under four centimeters, very low risk of having any metastasis, probably less than 7%. As the tumors get larger, that tends to go up about a couple of percents at a time. And when you start to approach a tumor that's about 12 or 15 centimeters, that can be as much as 30%. Now, all these kidney tumors are different, but they're all considered something called renal cell carcinoma. And just like you have different fruits, there's different varieties of renal cell carcinoma. And some are more aggressive than others. There's also a benign kidney tumor called an oncocytoma. And while these tumors do tend to grow, they do not tend to metastasize and are very, very rarely lethal. Now there is no blood test or at this point any urine test for kidney cancer, but that is something that we are working here on at the Providence St. John's Cancer Institute. So a lot of the research that I do is on a urine test, looking for markers within the urine that would suggest that the patient has kidney cancer. Or if the patient had a tumor that was found on an MRI or a CAT scan, we might do the urine test looking for markers that are significant for kidney cancer that might lead us in that direction. The other thing you can do to diagnose kidney cancer is actually get a biopsy of the tumor, which is the most precise way to understand exactly what's there. Like I said before, not all tumors in the kidney are malignant, meaning cancerous. Some are benign. They grow, but they don't eventually cause harm and or death. So one way to figure that out sometimes is by a biopsy. Now, one of the things that I do is that I do complex reconstructions of the kidney. So if the mass is small enough, you might not wanna remove the whole kidney and just the mass itself. But if the mass is close to the vessels to the kidney, we might have to reconstruct or repair those vessels so that we can preserve most of the kidney. And this can be very important in patients who have one kidney, in patients who have diabetes, or in patients that have hypertension because all those things over the long term can, can affect your kidney function. So we wanna preserve as much kidney as possible. Now you don't always have to operate on a kidney tumor. There are other ways to treat them. You can also treat them with cryotherapy, which is freezing or microwave ablation. So we have lots of options for patients. Now, if the kidney tumor is big enough, in general, the best thing to do is to take out the kidney and the tumor, but there are a lot more immunotherapies or systemic therapies that we're using to treat kidney cancer that help shrink away the tumors and then can actually leave the patient with more kidney. Again, this is Dr. Lenahan, your robotic kidney surgeon at St. John's Providence Cancer Institute. Happy to talk to you today for March Kidney Cancer Awareness Month.